Welcome to the Dragon IK Sticky Feet Tutorial. This is the special feature of procedurally making feet positions sync with the physical movement of the character. It helps eliminate the slipping of feet when animation and character movement doesn't sync. Let's instantly copy paste a pre-made basic human IK template setting to save time. Copy the contents of the text file. Then do a paste on the animation graph to see the preset IK solve is instantly popping up. The template data is provided in Google Docs under the description. It's recommended to watch the human IK tutorial first to understand the basics. Hurrah! We now have a working IK setting to start on top of. You can see the leg slip here while the character is moving, due to the animation not syncing with the movement speed. Set sticky feed mode parameter to true to enable the feature. Expose the parameter called manual sticky feed array, and create a variable out of it. This is a simple boolean array that decides if each feed is currently in a stick state or not. It's not used if we are using automatic floor stick mode instead. For a quick test, use it on the event graph with two boolean array elements set to true. This means the legs will stick to the terrain at all times. ensures the feet will get unstuck after a limit, giving better results at extreme cases. Now that we know sticky feet feature works, Let's delete this node. We will use animation notifies to drive the sticky nature of the feats. Create notifies for when the feet touch the ground in an animation, same for when the feet leaves the ground. It 
is for each feet in your walk animation. at all the notify events in your event graph. Create local boolean parameters for both left and right legs to store the notify information. The order of the sticky array should follow the order of the legs, used in the feet array of your foot solver. This finishes the core sticky feet input setup. It's important to ensure the animation rate is played at a reasonable rate, that is in sync with the speed to avoid not so great results. We can see the effects of the sticky feet feels better, thanks to a better animation play rate adjustment. problem exists when switching to a running animation through a blend space. We need to apply the same notifiers used on the walk animation, on the running animation as well.
looking better when running now. The sticky feet cause odd poses when going back to idle. To get stable results, we will use sticky feet only at specific speeds. walking speed is 120, while running speed is 240 in the blend space. We will set sticky feats to false if the speed is neither around 120 nor 240. Set a comfortable error tolerance so this logic isn't too strict. the right animation speed tweaking, along with the reasonable movement speed, the results are now better. feature is perfect for large creatures or humans, whose feet slippage can be noticeable to the eye. If we increase the animation play rate, then the strides of the legs become shorter as a result. Similarly, decreasing the animation play rate leads to higher leg strides during locomotion. You can see the legs cannot extend beyond a limit, causing awkward poses. It needs to be fixed. One option to fix this is to increase the feet max extension ratio in the foot solver. Set it 1.2 to allow 20% extra stretching. Another option is tweaking the feet stick tolerance. A higher value allows the legs to stretch and stride longer. Feet stick tolerance at zero means the tolerance logic is disabled.
but as a rule of thumb, keep reasonable animation rates at reasonable movement speeds for good final results. Ensure the trace height below feet parameter is a bit high. The feet only sticks if the trace is hit. You can optionally tweak the sticky on and sticky off speed if needed. This same process can be applied on quadrupeds and creatures as well. Visit the Dragon IK Discord server for support and clearing any doubts.